Hi guys! In this video I will show you how to easily exclude test from execution and we will use test ng exclude for it uh, but instead of exclude method we will add it on the group level. So first let's enable all tests and run them. So let's go to our test ng XML and let's remove this method include from here and from here. So now all our tests should be executed. So let's let's just run our test suite. While it's running, let's let's switch back to our Eclipse. results yeah do you see that negative test ah keep switching to the console uh, let's disable this here okay so now for for Chrome and for Firefox test you see that negative test is executed before positive test so negative one, negative two, and then positive. Even though here in our login test, we have positive test first. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that test and G uh, run tests in alphabetical order. So if you want to run test in any order you want, let's add priority. So let's go to positive test and here next to test, Let's open brackets. Priority equals one. And for negative test, uh, let's do it after data provider. Priority equals two. So now when, when we're gonna run test, it's gonna execute positive test first and then negative test. Now let's also add groups to our tests. Let's go to test ng documentation page for test groups and here you can see that we can add groups to our test and this is how it's gonna look. So let's copy it from here. Let's go to our login test and after priority comma space let's add groups. So for positive test let's call it positive and just that we don't need second group but we can add as many groups as we like to each test so groups positive and for negative test after priority comma space groups negative so for right now this it's it's not changing anything yet until we go to our test in GXML and well uh, let's say uh, we want to run uh, we want to exclude our negative test from Chrome execution so for Firefox we want to run all tests but in Chrome we want to run only positive tests so to do that we can uh, here after parameters we can add groups groups then run and here well we can put include we can put exclude let's just exclude and let's copy group name so we don't make any mistakes negative so now when we're gonna run test it's supposed to exclude negative all all tests that marked as the group negative uh, from chrome execution but before we do that let's go to our base test and for each uh, before and after uh, let's add always run so before class open brackets always run equals true 
and let's do it for all of them so for before method and after method so now it's it's not in the group but if we want to include test or include group it anyway it's always gonna run these methods now uh, well let's run and let's see so now we expect that all tests will be executed in Firefox but just positive will be executed in Chrome because negative are excluded so right click run as test ng and let's see So negative test is still running in Firefox, but not in Chrome. And I believe there is one more negative test here. Yeah. So last negative test. And we're done. First test for executed, zero failure. So for Chrome, we have only positive test and for Firefox we have positive and two negative tests. Now, um, what I like to use groups at my job is to basically automatically exclude broken tests. So in test ng, what I do, uh, besides the group I want to exclude, I also create a group name and I call it broken. And I excluded in all my test suites so let's add same for firefox and exclude broken so basically every test i have will have this piece of code so groups run exclude broken and now uh, let's say developers changed something and you need to fix your some of your automation tests but you don't have time because you need to run automation right now and instead of reviewing bunch of errors that is go that's gonna be expected errors because you know it's broken so if you don't have time to fix your test you can just add another group and like let's say developer change something and negative login test i know that it's gonna fail it's not gonna work so now I just go here and I just add another group negative to this test. Now when I save it and when I run my test suite, it should automatically exclude all groups named negative. So now basically only two positive tests supposed to be executed. Yep. Hmm, starting Firefox. Did I make another mistake? Why negative test is running in Firefox? Broken. Exclude name broken. Login test. Oh. Yeah. Another face palm broken not negative eh, it's too late i came from work and i decided to record the video but uh, 7 pm my head doesn't work sorry guys but now I fixed i fix it and now it should work now it's supposed to run only positive tests in chrome and in firefox yeah. Next next time I supposed uh, I should record my videos on the weekends in the mornings when I have fresh head and when I'm not tired. 
Yeah, and I, I guess you saw the error and you were sitting there and face palming. Like why negative? Why are you saying you saying broken but you type in negative? Come on man and you're gonna teach me selenium. Okay, so now it's working and this is the way to exclude your groups and it's exclude your broken tests. And we, we can actually include them exactly the same way. Uh, and that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.